Hello folks, thought of doing a 90 day recap on how the system is running. As we can see now, that's the pip. I do take it as it's on float. Pushing all we can to keep on with the demand here. It's very little draw on the system right now. You can see an 85 watt load. Still pushing 140 watts. That's that's probably the 90 watt load plus the 50 watts of the self-consumption of the PIP there. Here we got the kit. So today we had a production of six and a half kilowatt hours there. The kit is also floating. We got those batteries at 100%. Let's see, I want to keep this video as short as possible, but that's that's on float as you can see, keeping on float. Nice and easy there. It's floating. I'll go upstairs and show you how the hot water tank is doing. There it is. We're very close to very, very hot water in the tank here. 150 liters of hot water. As you can see, I keep the, the thermostat on high. I don't know if you hear it clicking. So the tank is very hot. Keep that on the timer there. It's on, first turns on at 11.30 in the morning. It runs for about 45 minutes. Then there's a 45 minute off. It runs for an hour and a half from 1 p.m. to 2.30. Another half hour off and then it runs for another hour and a half from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Let's see if we can take a look at those panels, if there are any clean. As I have been... go upstairs and see. So here are the panels. They're a little dusty. Yeah, they're a little dusty, but not too bad. I have cleaned them at least two times since installing them. As you can see now, the sun sets at a much closer angle. Before it used to set, the, used to, the sun used to set down here. As you approach winter, it sets more towards south. These are my south facing panels. These are the ones that are connected to the pip. That's why they're just producing a hundred and something odd watts. Those are the ones that are connected to the kid. Oh no, I see a big problem there. Big problem, that's shading. No good. To see about that in the future. Just show you the pool quickly. And there is the pool. The pump still runs seven hours a day. But I should be getting ready to winterize it soon. 
big shout out to just in case there I have a little solar powered dog here as well Wanda 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 see if I can show you any more details inside so I went away to New York last Thursday this is the consumption and last Thursday, let's see, that last Thursday was the first. S the system was unattended and this was my on-grid consumption, 19 kilowatt hours. I think this was Friday, 15 kilowatt hours. On Saturday, 20 kilowatt hours. It was cloudy here, so probably the system went to you went into line mode it's on Sunday I guess on Monday 15 kilowatt hours on Tuesday I was back here and it was a beautiful sunny day so 11 kilowatt hours that was yesterday 9,7 kilowatt hours and today another 9.5 kilowatt hours so that's it. I'm very happy with the system. Very happy. There you go. Floating. Floating. Again, in the first wave of October here can still produce close to 13 kilowatt hours daily. So these are the panels that are that are on the shade I would say right now. These are the south facing panels. But I have a float voltage on the PAPE of uh, 55 volts. So it really tries to push it all so its juice when the kid goes to float because the kid has a much lower float voltage. You see the kid has a 54 and a half volt float voltage I guess. And right now it's uh, probably compensating for the temperature as you can see the batteries are at 32 degrees Celsius. It's not quite as warm as it had been in September, but it's still, we have warm days. Close to the 80s in Fahrenheit. So, that's all folks. Very happy with the system. Three months, over 90 days. I am saving about, on sunny days, I can save well over 50% of my on-grid consumption. Let me see if I can pull up the my last electric bill here. Oh, the computer was taking a little while to load there, but... Uh, this is my grid consumption on September. This was my grid consumption during August. As you can see, there's a big difference there because in August we used a lot of air conditioning and that's all on grid. And you can see June was very l l low usage month, 300 kilowatt hours July 700 this was August 540 and you see it's uh, cutting half the consumption here and this month eight days of this month so far we have that's what we have spent all right thank you for your time I'll cut this off now as Approaching the 10 minute mark, thank you for watching.